Welcome to TV TV Sport and to the DMW Glazing Stadium for New Milton Town against Townworthy Recreation in the Wessex League Division 1. Are you looking to start your child on their footballing journey and live within the Bournemouth Pool and surrounding areas? Fundamental Football Dorset puts the fun into football for toddlers through to mini soccer age. With classes and football teams on weekend mornings and midweek evenings, get in touch to find out more. Come on, let's be having you. Hit the button, will ya? Next up, we have Hanworth United Reserves against Sturminster Marshall in the Dorset Premier League. Join me next weekend. Back to today, and let's have a quick look at the league table. New Milton Town flying high, Hanworthy Wreck creeping up on the playoffs. Current form over the last 10 games suggests we're in for a close one today. We'll just have to wait and see about that. Look at this happy bunch. Neil Hussey, Alastair Buckle and Jason Coombs. This is usually one of the better pitches that I go to, but today there were divots all over it. I know money short, but probably best not to let the pitch out to the local polo club. Anyway, as these thoroughbreds gallop their way onto the pitch, let's have a look at the squads and the starting 11s. Right, let's get on with it. These highlights are brought to you by TBTV. So I'd like to bring you the family game here at TBTV, but there was some unruly behaviour, I'm afraid. Look at these two, fighting in the stands. Unbelievable. Something else that was unbelievable was Charlie Turner's finish. It's that time again and Uncle Tony's got to tell you the first half wasn't exactly a classic, so bear with. It was very stop start, but we did get a showboat. <laughs> Can you guess who my assistant cameraman supports? Yeah, I bet you can. <laughs> uh. Believe it or not, we're on the stroke of half time. And Sammy Thompson comes for a wonder, only to make contact with the ball that looks like Chris Long. <laughs> Up steps James King. A majestic dummy from Brad Hill flummoxes everyone and the ball finds its way into the far corner. 1-1. One, one. Oh, 
Just a few minutes into the second half and Ben Kelly concedes his foul against Frank Rosenball. After a bit of conferring, he was the one to take it. Hill's free kick hits the crossbar, but Webb's there to nod in the rebound, conveniently bringing his teammates towards Luke. Come on, son, do your stuff. We're now an hour into this contest and New Milton Town are about to press the self-destruct button. Kelly doesn't get enough on his tap back to Thompson and boy does he know it. Although it wasn't a dirty game, there were a few feisty challenges and the longer the game went on, the feistier they got. However, Rex number nine, Chris Long, used to play out front for New Milton Town, and I think this is his first game back. So imagine what would have happened if this had gone in. Long's disappointment lasted four minutes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Time for another showboat, I think. <laughs> if I had to name man in a match, it'd be Brad Hill. Here he comes. Meep meep. So after a much better second half we finished New Metal Town 1 Hanworthy Recreation 4 and this is what it does to the league table. New Milton Town retain their top spot and Worthy Wreck move into the playoffs. <laughs> Next week I'll be at Hanworthy United as their reserves take on Sturminster Marshall in the DPL. Join me then. In the meantime, stay safe. Yeah, stay safe.